I imagine that there's a large part of my personality that was there that allowed me to do street shows um, because you have to have a certain amount of blase to the rejection you get in order to continue because otherwise the amount of rejection you get would just fucking kill you. It just, it's not fun to go out there and be shut down over and over and over again. Um, and what you end up developing is this overwhelming confidence. And uh, we came to Zurich to start doing shows and uh, <laughs> it was terrible. Our first show we made like, I think we made seven Swiss francs. And one of that, it was, one of it was a five franc coin. And then it was, you know, a bunch of other little stuff that added up to seven. And my uh, partner at the time, Paul, um, performance partner, right, he, he dropped the five coin, five franc coin, and it rolled into the drain and like, boom, and we were like, well, that was fun. 70% of our hat is now in the drain. That was a good start, you know. <laughs> Can't go much worse than that. But that's the, that's, that's the streets for you right there, hey, you know, fuck man, if you try to expect that you're going to make any money, you will lose that, that gamble, you know. You just have to fucking go at it and you just have to do 100 shows before you get 100 shows in the, big, in the very beginning and then you have an idea of how to do a show. Because there's just 7 million things that doing street shows requires, you know. So I can relate it to juggling, but uh, this could also be related to, I don't know, doing, ta doing your taxes. The more you do it, the easier it is. And with juggling, you know, you learn three balls and then you practice five balls for a long time and finally it clicks. And now you see the pattern in a new way that allows you to do tricks in the pattern. The same thing on the street. You, you do it enough and um, the routines that you've developed become sort of second nature and that allows you to relax. You don't have to focus so much on that and that allows for other parts to come in, you know? Stage is just brilliant after working the street and you know like dealing with rain and no sound and shitty lighting or whatever and then all of a sudden you have indoor there's no wind you can do any kind of balancing skill trick you want or any kind of like skill is so much easier inside you know you make sure the stage is all leveled and all that and then you can um, you have lights and sound and the audience is, they want they love you already they don't even know who you are but they pay it's they love you it's like well oh, it's the inverse outside they want to see you fail and you have to convince them that no I'm actually good it's a it's a great so both. I'm like right at the middle at the moment. I love the street and I love, I would love to have more time on stage.